Hi everyone and welcome back to Aquatic Life Food. So this is a bit of a delayed vlog but we do already have a blog on this and it is New Year's resolutions for your aquarium. So the reason why I do vlogs as well is for those of you who prefer to watch and listen. So I just want to talk you through this because it's a very relaxed vlog. I just wanted to put some ideas out there for those of you who don't know where to start in terms of creating New Year's resolutions, especially those for your aquarium. So the first New Year's resolution that we think is most important is to nourish your aquarium. So if you are still using dried food, it is definitely worth trying out live food. So using something like copods or a wild plankton, zooplankton mix is definitely a good place to start. Depending on the kind of um, fish you have, you should contact us and you can ask about what kind of live foods is more suitable for your tank but that is always a good start, is to use live foods instead of dry foods because just like human beings, it is very important to feed fish those live foods. It's most natural to them, it's what they eat in the ocean, so it just continues that natural food, food chain, very healthy for your fish. Number two is to get more involved. So we all intend on being involved in those things that we love in the new year, um, but we don't think about how that can actually impact us. So it impacts us very positively uh, when we're involved in something that we love, whether it be a sport or a hobby, we are actually better people for it. So if you are more involved in your aquarium, say you only spend five to ten minutes a day, if you can spend about half an hour or even more, you might actually realize you're more relaxed, you become um, more at peace in your mind and you're just happier overall. So that's something that we recommend. Uh, we have a blog on the benefits of having a home aquarium which is really interesting and has some research behind the relaxing benefits of having a home aquarium. So if you already have one, you've got an advantage there, all you have to do is invest some more time in there. The health benefits are already waiting for you. So um, some other things you can do to get more involved is to use our home culture systems to make your own, um, pretty much set up your own ecosystem at home. We we have everything from setting up your own algae and growing your own algae or phytoplankton to setting up your own plankton. So what you need to do is choose where you want to start. There's the zooplankton element where you can just have the zooplankton. You can continuously buy the algae to feed them or the phytoplankton. Or you can do both and you can have the, um, the algae growing, feeding the live food and the live food feeds your fish. So it's all up to you. And the third step, number three, is to learn more about your aquaria. So this is something we really endorse. We think it's important. We invest a lot of time to educate you guys because we think it's really important. Um, number one is to just read our blogs. They're very simplified for you guys. Some are a bit more complex, but it's usually for specific things like for Daphnia. So if you're very in involved in Daphnia, it's important for you to read the Daphnia blogs. And they might be more complex, like some are more like articles rather than blogs. But just do what you can. Maybe commit to reading one a week. Um, we post quite a few, so just stay updated on that. Uh, the second thing, watching our YouTube videos like you're doing right now. Good job. I think that's a great way to do it because you can always have it in the background while you're doing something else, while you're cooking or while you're looking after your aquarium. So that's something you can do and we'll always try and give you new tips and tricks. And the last thing is to sign up to our e-newsletter. If you haven't already done so, it's really helpful because we'll give you the offers, the updates, and we also link in all of our YouTube videos, all of our blogs, so that you're informed. Um, I think these are the most important New Year's resolutions for your tank, and I really hope that they, this helps you guys because it's important to focus on the things that you love in this new year. And we really look forward to spending this new year with you guys. If you have any questions, please comment below. Please contact us and we'll get back to you very soon. But in the meantime, remember to subscribe to our channel. Um, let us know what you'd like to hear from us and we will talk to you next time. Thank you guys.